Hi, I'm Ira Banta, Chief Architect from Pyramid Solution, Noida. Here is my contact information. Today I am going to present you a simple single sign-on implementation within two or more ASP.NET applications with different subdomains. For example, here site1.sangitech.com and site2.sangitech.com. There will be two ASP.NET web applications. One is the uh, I made site one is a web form application and site two is an MVC application. Both will support form authentication. So the login page will be live in site one. Site two doesn't have login page. Site two wants to log in. It sends the request to site one. The user get authenticated from site one and redirect back to site two. Both these subdomains, both this site will share the same authentication cookie. So let me give a demonstration here. So site one dot sangitech dot com is authenticated and it has its own uh, login page now on another tab of the browser let me browse site 2 dot sangai since not authenticated it redirects to site one dot sangai tech dot com login page with the query string from site and return URL. So let me go to site one and let me log in here. I already created a, a account at It's taking a little longer time okay so I'm login in site one now let me browse site two in another tab since both the site site one and site two shares is the cookie site to get login automatically and I can browse the home page so let us do this step by step so the first thing is let us create two ASP.NET applications for site 1 and site 2 you can create uh, web form applications or MVC applications but for some requirement I am creating the first one as web forms and second one is MVC so I created this uh, project in this folder, the site one dot .com. This is a web forms application, and the site two is the MVC application. So you will see that in the Visual Studio. What next? Next is let us configure the web config of both sites. Most of the stuff we are going to do is web config configurations. So let me go to the site one web config. Site one is an MVC, uh, sorry, ASP.NET application. Uh, 
login registration related uh, pages are automatically created by Visual Studio in this accounts folder. So login page is here. Let me go to the web config. First thing is uh, Owen registration and login API uses this connection string. So make sure that it points to a correct database with the correct connection string. I created here a database called Sangai Tech SSO. Uh, so the connection string point to this database. Second thing is account folder. Account folder contains the login and registration pages. So we need to allow this to hold users access there, that the resources in this folder. Because we are going to apply forms authentication. So forms authentication will not allow any resources to get access unless we introduce this as uh, authorization. Make sure we introduce the machine key. We need to make sure that this machine key is copied same in the Sangai uh, site two web config also. Both site one and site two should have the same. Authentication is forms authentication. Again, this is site one. Site one has the login page. The rest of this stuff. They are important. This attribute should be same in site to web config. So the cookie name, the, uh, the form name, the cookie list, okay, the domain, enable cross app redirects. This which we should set it to true. This domain name should be again provided same in site to web config. So we will just copy and paste this uh, element in site to web config. Then we set authorization deny user question mark to deny anonymous access. So that's it in the web config for this site one, which is in the ASP.NET Web Forms application. Now let me open up site two. Site to web config. Site two doesn't have its own login page or its own registration account registration page. We don't need it. So um, I don't need this uh, connection string here. I'm not using this. Then here the machine key is copied same from site one. Authentication against forms authentication and the authorization deny any anonymous access. Here the login URL I provided it uh, with site one accounts login page with a custom query string. This is uh, the URL of this current site. This is site to sitech.com. This means that uh, when authentication success in the site one account login phase, it should redirect to this uh, URL provided in from site. Again, the domain name you keep the same. In MBC type, by default, the forms authentication was removed. It uses Owen authentication system, so um, I enabled, uh, I removed this uh, element to still enable forms authentication. And another stuff I did here is, you know, I am not using Owen to start this application, so I disable Owen startup here. So that's it in the web config. Now let's get back to 
uh, creating this two sub sites site one sanitech.com and site two sanitech.com in IIS. So let us see what is the next step. Site 2 redirects to site 1 login, providing return URL and a custom query string from site. This is what I have showed you in the uh, web.config of site 2. Then let us set up uh, this site 1 and site 2, the same domain name in uh, IIS. Here I already configured site 1 and site 2. Let me show you how I did that. So in the IIS manager, right click on the site and uh, add a website. Make sure we keep the same port number 80, default port number. So site name, let me give anything to sanitech.com. Okay. I point it to the folder. Let me copy that. This lying in here. So let me point to site one sanitech.com. Here I need to write the host name site one dot sanitech.com. So this is very important. This one is going to uh, allow site 1 and site 2 exist in the same port number 80. So IP address all unassigned or I can give the default IP address of the machine. So let me keep this uh, all unassigned. I 192.168.13 is my IP address. I click OK and it creates site one dot tech dot com. Similarly, I created site two dot two dot tech dot com. And here it should point to a site two folder, and then uh, host name is site two. That's how I create it. And make sure the app pool of this uh, site one and site two it points. Uh, it uses .NET Framework 4.0. Another stuff is in the etc, etc folder here in the C drive windows 32 drivers etc there is a host file open it with notepad so you will see here I have already entered my IP address local IP address is mapped with site1.sanitech.com again my IP address is mapped with site2.sanitech.com so sanitech.com is a domain name which I own I registered it I uh, purchased it so I'm using that uh, to map with my local IP address to set up this two sub sites uh, in my IA so Update the host file to support the two subdomains. Uh, that's it. That's that's the configuration required on uh, to make hap these things happen. Now, I need to do a small change in my uh, ASP.NET Web Forms application where the login page is residing in this account folder. There. I added this method, authenticated method. By default, the login method uses the OWIN API to authenticate a user and create a token. And when it says uh, it returns success, then it redirects to the return URL. But here, I am creating my own cookie here using forms of. So 
forms authentication cookie is set up here with the cookie domain name a uh, domain name any uh, keyword is provided here as the domain name not necessary that this be the one you provided in the web config it is not necessary that the domain you provide in the web config this same name should be provided here it's not required but you give a domain name here then once the authentication is success and i create my authentication cookie and if the url contains the from site that is my site to sanitech.com then it will redirect to my from site uh, by appending the return url so otherwise it redirects to the return url what i can do is you know i can avoid this owen if i have my own custom authentication logic uh like i need to authenticate the user on the user table so you write your own program to validate the user so once the use you validate that the user exists in your database then you create your authentication cookie from this method which is lying here and then you redirect the user according to the um, query string that is from site or the return url so that's the only code change that that has been done so i hope this will help uh, thank you very much i will give the link uh, to download this sample when i upload the video thank you very much i hope you enjoy